art to me is the freedom of expression and spontaneous ideas that I can't really form in words. But I like being able to make different art pieces that convey different ideas in a completely complex way. Like, most of my art is very out there and has a lot going on, but it's always very interesting to see other people's reactions and what they point out. I was supposed to work right now. I make art to, I don't know, kind of escape reality in a sense. It's, it's almost a form of therapy. It's very therapeutic. To take time, you know, cutting things out and going through magazines and, you know, just I find things everywhere, just random little pieces and like pictures that I can put in my art. There's not a lot to do here. There really isn't. So when, you know, I don't feel like going out and doing something, I can always just, I don't know, make my own little world here. My form of art is very very out there. I don't really have a word to describe it. Um, very chaotic, I guess. I guess the world that we live in is very chaotic. You know, we live in a, we live in a society and, um, <laughs> and uh, it's just, it's very hectic. Our world is chaotic. We are fed with so much information constantly and I think that most of my um, pieces represent a lot of what's going on in the world today. Um, as far as like advances in technology and in our cities and you know how sex affects us and that's everywhere and most people are drawn to that and I don't know I, I try to make my art I don't know appealable to most audiences but a lot of people just don't like it because it's it's out there and that's fine I enjoy it that's all that matters what's your favorite piece and why Okay, I wish I had this piece with me, but um, I don't, so I guess I can kind of describe it. Um, my boyfriend and his father found these brain scans. Um, I have them somewhere, but it's literally like scans of someone's brain that they found in someone's house, which is super cool to me. And uh, I took that and I took a bunch of like drug bags from like my friends and uh, my mom and like for my personal use. And uh, I, I put, which this is like my favorite piece ever, uh, in the center of it behind all the brain scans, um, there's a picture of Jesus. And it's my mom's last heroin bag that she ever used. And I covered his face with it. And there's all of these people around him, uh, like praising to him. And I just really like the idea behind that because, you know, a lot of people glorify drug use and I don't know, people glamorize drugs a lot everywhere. And that's disgusting. But, you know, going through that and what I've been through, I know that it's not a glamorous life for anyone. And that means a lot to me because... It hits home. <laughs> I have probably like a thousand little pieces of magazines cut out. And I have them all in little separate, like folded pieces of paper. So, um, you know, I usually like go through all of those separate uh, genres, I guess, and um, try to pick out what I'm feeling for the day. Um, Usually I have a couple of things I'm working on at once, so that's that's kind of helpful sometimes because then I have the option to pick, you know, what am I feeling right now? In 10 years, I, I want to be able to do art on the walls of my house. I want to have like a whole studio. Um, I don't know. I want people to have my art on their walls. I think that would be beautiful and a really good feeling. I don't know. I think that not everyone does what I do, and that's cool. So that drives me to do, you know, pull different ideas out of my brain and hope someone can take something away from that. I put my fears in a box like prayer to 